It's your favorite hair bestie here, and I am starting out my newest edition called Tip Tuesday. And on Tip Tuesday, it's where you guys send me your kind of hair questions um, about just things that you're wondering about, how you can solve your hair problems, or, you know, you want to learn more about your hair. Today, I was sent in a question from a follower, and they want to know how they can treat dandruff and um, scalp psoriasis and eczema. So... Let's talk about scalp conditions. So in case you are not sure what dandruff looks like, it's kind of, I don't really have any, but what you would see is on the scalp, you would see kind of almost like white patches, um, almost like the skin of your scalp is like lifting off. And that normally, or if you can like kind of peel it, it kind of reminds you of flakes, that's what um, scalp dandruff is. So sometimes scalp dandruff is called by is caused by dry skin. Sometimes it's called by dermatitis. Sometimes it's called by scalp eczema, scalp psoriasis. Um, it's sometimes it's sensitivity to hair products. You're using something that's a little bit too strong for your head, or even sometimes it happens for no reason at all. But one thing that you should know is that dandruff does not correlate does not go hand in hand with poor hygiene just because you have dandruff that doesn't mean you don't know how to take care of your hair that doesn't mean that you don't clean yourself or you're not cleanly enough it's all about a scalp condition and about if your skin if your scalp is too dry or if your scalp is too oily so I'm going to share with you some of my favorite products that I use on my daughter because my daughter has actually really bad scalp psoriasis to the point that if I push her hair back, you can actually see what looks like a white line. It almost looks like she just has like this white fabric or flake. It's like it's like it's all flaking off and you can see the color difference from the psoriasis all the way around and her like her natural skin tone. So some of the products that I like to use on her head that I've noticed have made a huge difference are um, is one is a product from Lush, Lush Cosmetics. They make most, I'm um, just about all of their products by hand. It's all natural, organic, most of it vegan, gluten-free. And they make really fresh products. So they have this one product called the Super Bomb. It comes in a little tiny container it has really great ingredients in it like lavender oil, chamomile, extra virgin olive oil. It's a 1.5 ounce, so about this big, and it ranges from um, $25. Now, $25 is a little bit pricey, but to be honest with you, it works so well that I don't even question the price because I know that she gets very self-conscious about her scalp. Um, from that 1.5 ounce, I've been able to get about three uses out of it so when you break it down by three uses that's not that bad um and what you do is you open up the container it's a green paste almost that has a little bit of a grit and you take it on wash day before you wash your hair and what you're going to do is you're going to grab a comb and you kind of want to section the hair work on the scalp and like kind of jiggle the dandruff free and get as much off your scalp as you possibly can and then you're going to take that super balm you're going to take a little bit out you're going to rub it on your scalp and you're going to feel it. it has a little bit of a grit you're going to put that all over your head and let it sit on for about 10 minutes then you're going to go in with your shampoo and, and follow it up and take it out um, in terms of shampoo um lush has what they call the soak and float it's what you follow the super balm with it's a shampoo bar looks just like this um, I usually get the tin that they sell. It's a couple bucks extra because the tin will keep it from melting in my shower. It's a soothing bar. So it's really good for those that have irritated scalp. It's got cedar wood, rose oil in it, and marigold petals, which essentially the marigold and the cedar wood is what you're seeing here is that texture in there. Okay, so I know that that sounded good at all to get to Lush and and have them get those products for you and buy it. But I know that Lush is kind of expensive. And I want to be able to give you guys affordable options or options that you could even do yourself. So I'm going to give you a really quick DIY scalp treatment that you can make at home that you can use to treat your scalp that's just as effective as the Lush one uh, without the really high. So first thing you're going to need, coconut oil. Make sure you get cold press. I usually get cold press coconut oil from Trader Joe's, Sprouts, just the cold press. That means you're getting all of the nutrients and the vitamins in it. So you're going to need two cups 
of coconut oil. Preferably melt it down um, because it'll make everything work a lot quicker if you melt it down first. So melt this down. You want to put two cups, like two big cups, um, and not cups like a mug cup, but like actual like serving um, measuring spoon cups. So you want to take two cups of the coconut oil. And again, it's kind of cold here, so it's in that solid form. Put it in a bowl, a microwavable bowl. Put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then stir it and help it melt down. So you're putting in two cups of the coconut oil. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put in two tablespoons of avocado oil. Avocado is very, very moisturizing and it helps seal in some of this moisture in your scalp. Next thing you want to use is you want to use argan oil. And these are just kind of like my favorite um, avocado and argan oil, but you don't have to use these particular ones. You could just, you could, I got most of them on Amazon. Um, Amazon has a lot of really good essential oils that you can buy. Then you're going to follow it up with some argan oil. Again, we're going to do two teaspoons of argan oil. Then after that, you're going to do half a teaspoon of peppermint oil and half a teaspoon of lemongrass. So the lemongrass is an antifungal, so it's going to help treat that dandruff on your scalp. And peppermint is going to get that tingling, so it's going to get that blood flow in your scalp, and it's going to help lift all that dirt and debris off your scalp. You're gonna, and the last but not least, you wanna mix in one big giant spoonful, just like a regular spoon you have in your kitchen, a big giant spoonful of sugar. Um, you can use white sugar or you can use brown sugar, whatever you have in your house, as long as it has that grit to it. So what I mean is don't use powdered sugar. It's just gonna make your hair smell nice and sweet. Um, probably taste sweet, but it's not gonna, you need that grit. So we're gonna do sugar. After you've mixed all your ingredients together in your bowl, then you want to do the same thing I instructed you to do with the super balm. You want to make sure you come into the scalp. You want to slowly rub it into the scalp, work section by section all the way around. Let it sit on your head for about 10 minutes. And then after that, you want to follow straight through with your shampoo and then follow up again with your conditioner or if you're deep conditioning that Okay, way. so let's talk about this. Why does this work? This works because if your scalp is dry and that's what's causing the dandruff, this is gonna help soothe the scalp, especially with the coconut oil and the avocado oil. If your scalp is oily and that's what's causing the excess dandruff on your scalp, then what it's gonna do is it's gonna trick your scalp into thinking that it's already produced its oils when you let that oil sit there on your scalp. So either which way, this DIY recipe that I gave you is a win-win scenario because it'll help you out and help balance out the oil and the dryness to your scalp. I hope this helps answer your scalp related questions. Please feel free to send me a message on any of my social media platforms. That's gonna be YouTube, that's gonna be Snapchat, that's gonna be Twitter, that's gonna be Instagram. Um, and then if you guys do that, remember, please make sure you come back next Tuesday for our next of Tip Tuesday. Until then, thanks for tuning in, bye.